and plus, a month into the season, the Texas State Bobcats have only played one home game. Tonight they play their second. Brutal schedule for the Cats, but it's going to definitely should pay dividends for them when they get to Sunbell play. And off we go. Texas State versus Jarvis Christian. For the player of Brandon Love's size and ability inside, they've got to protect that paint. Shot clock under 10. Here's a Garo on the take for the Bobcats. In the Juco route at Colby Community College. Now here at Texas State. Shot clock under 10. Quarter three. That's good. Three ball. They're going to come down the first open shot they get. They're going to take it and then transition, as you see, is where they really want to thrive. Clark the putback. Two lead for the Bulldogs. Again tonight, this game an exhibition for them. Their second one against the D1 opponent this year. Brandon Love. Today's Red River Athletic Conference are picked to finish 10th. But here they are out to a 4-0 conference start. Turnover. Bulldogs. Gums the other way. The same one. Johnson, Dawson, Mason, Gums, Ogaro, and Love for what has been a shorthanded team. Here's Ogaro from distance. Yeah, for the Bobcats, it, it's like a reoccurring nightmare at this point. You know, they've just got to get healthy and get prepared and get ready for Sun Belt play here at the end of the month. Tough. Tremendous player this year for Texas State. Yeah, I came in the Sun Belt versus Mac Challenge, had 19 points against Miami of Ohio, but got hurt that game. Mason rises and can Gums' hands. It's a wild shot there. Good defense from Gums. Gums up ahead. Dawson puts the ball on the deck, goes to the rack, and now he'll go to the free throw line. 8-5 lead, Texas State. Here's Russell on the switch, picked up by Nix. And that is a step out of bounds. The state full court pressure. Back to Kirkendall. Good crossover. Alley oop, and it flips in. Ends a drought there for the Bulldogs. Good sequence of passes as Nix X the rebound off the miss from Aaron Rice. Seven minutes gone by, five point lead. Mason rises and hits, but then he gives it up again. Here's Gums in transition, doesn't pull the trigger. Mason will. One Miami of Ohio out of the Mac. Long three blocked by Turner. Kirkendall on the loose ball, floater. Turner inside to Love, back into the game. Rebound volleyballs to Ogaro. Here's Mason. Triple won't go. Rebound Kirkendall. Percent shooting. Wild shot from Wynn. And now Gums either way. Here's Gums knifing his way into the lane. Can't finish. Mason into the corner. Elijah Tate is also checked in for the first time. Shot clock out of five. Here's Turner. Can't get the fame. It. Tate won't go. Turner the rebound. Back out to Mason, passes on the three. Floater instead, and it's a bomb. Able to produce a few buckets here and there when Love is out. Here's Nix. Hit by two defenders. Kent must works it back outside. Bulldogs, just nine points on three of 15 shooting. Cooper outside, good look at a triple. Sure. But that's just me not understanding baseball. I may need to talk to Coach Harrington to get a little more information. Shot for the outside, left short by balls and pick the pockets of the Bulldogs. And then there was just really good defense. Part of it, Jarvis Christian, I think, lost track of the clock. Elijah Tate, a corner, gets her first three of the game. Not a team that's built around the three pointer, the answer three, right? But for the Bobcats, they're dead last in some building three point shooting at 26%. And they don't take many, but right on cue. Good looking shot there by Horn. And again, Texas State, again, needs some perimeter shooting. Nice comeback side scoring. You know, those are the toughest teams to be able to defend. They'd only taken 17 threes the last two games combined. Tate takes a third straight for the Bobcats. That's out. And the post, Nuogu. Backs down, Ogaro. And, and to go one-on-one. -on -one. Nice block, Caden Gums got back on defense. Good play by the freshman. And now Gums on the attack all the way and lays it in. See that there in transition. Very promising looking freshman. Again, hailing from San Marcos. Three pointer, Russell. Kevin calls for three. Bobcats against the zone. 
Shot clock at 10. Mason. Point leads all scores. Thought about the heat check three, doesn't pull the trigger. Gums will, and able to hit from the averaging double figures this year. Could be a player that winds up having a special career at Texas State. Absolutely, again, he he is really quick, he out of bounds. Final 100 seconds to the first half. All Texas State, little jump pass into Nwogu, and able to go off the glass. At the half at home against rival UTSA, finished off the Roadrunners. And also led of the break in the win at UTA a couple of weeks ago. Good drive, good finish. Aaron. Here's Robertson, great pass inside, but Wynn took his time. Bobcats got back on defense, but cleaning it up. And now Gums off the miss. Here comes the freshman. Here's O'Gar all the way to the rim and got fouled by. Shot clock to 10, Cooper. Tough shot goes for it's on the clock. Good execution by the Bulldogs. Here's Ogaro finds Dawson. The mid-range and down it goes for Dylan Dawson, especially this year. Turnover. Here's Gums the other way. 42-26. Man, you want to get in there and get fouled or get fouled and get to the free throw line. He's got to be able to make him pay when they foul him. Here's Ogaro battling. Four. And we keep going. Here's Mason. Rebound put back. Christian Turner. Now Turner we're going to work. Gums, good pass. Bobcats. Good. Unselfish basketball. Tough angle. There in that shot from Cooper. Here comes Texas State. Here's Mason in those holiday themed shoes. And He's this K State. He was in the Final Four last year, and now you throw in Houston. It's one of those the top basketball conferences in the country. Good look at a three for Jordan. Game coming in, never averaged more than four points a game in his first two seasons, but it did. But again, a different cat this year. Good re Yeah, the Bulldogs back in the zone. Here's Dawson. That's a throw to the other. Christian Turner had a great assist there for Dylan Dawson to get that wide open three. Tough runner for Russell. That really swept 10 of the conference for Jarvis Christian. Here's Dawson. Back to back threes. Dylan Dawson starting to heat up. It hasn't got to just to settle in to be that shooter that he is. Here's Dawson. Maybe he's feeling it. Thought about the three. Inside of Love at a mismatch and takes advantage. Rebound slapped out to Mason. Rebound Christian Turner. Bobcats doing a good job with the glass. Back inside to Love and a chance. And like anything else, the more TV time, the more exposure they can get. And a big flush there by Christian Turner. NBA trying to do its own thing. So turn to the flush after missing an opportunity in the first half for a dunk. A little step through and that's talk to his cats about is just that intensity on the defensive and the offensive end. I mean, they have just come out and just been lighting it up on both ends. Great drive there. We talked earlier about Texas State football. A couple of weeks away from a bowl game as Mason has a theft. Mason, the Euro step and the finish. Each other on the gridiron for the first time since Bobcats FCS days next year at NRG Stadium in Houston. That uh, three right down the, the Houston alumni for Texas State to come out and see two good teams play in a professional stadium, that's always going to be fun. Turner with a nice football pass. We're going to be decked out in, in ugly Christmas sweaters. All right. Are you going to are you going to wear one to the broadcast for us? I, I will if you will. I will have to find one. Have his guys tested against, you know, a Division One opponent and and take learn some things and get ready to get back to Red River Athletic in different conferences now. Although the Bearcats have had the Bobcats numbers of late, as when misfires and last year 69-62, but that meeting last year was the first time the two had played each other since their Southland days in 2012. 50 point half so far. Here's Dante Horn. Back out, Dawson. 
rattles in and out and spins. You, you know, I have a feeling you're the old school white white shoes or black shoes, or do you have colorful basketball shoes, Brant? Mine are very boring because they're free. Turner okay. <laughs> goes in available less. Bowling Green has had zero games where they've had their entire roster dating back to last year. So Garo finishes inside. 47 point lead, Texas State. Mid range rattles in off the fake three. In and out. That time didn't spin back in. Love the offensive rebound. Bobcats have been a good offensive rebounding team this year. That leads to a nine. Tate lost it. Bobcats a turnover, the 10th, but they are plus 13 tonight in turnover margin. Lamp doesn't go. As we come up about four minutes to go. Bobcats on the way to the fourth win of the year. Here's Love inside, got position. Brandon Love last in the Sun Belt in scoring, but that average is going to go up by game's end. On their way to the century mark. 99 now. See the flashes and the talent from Jarvis Christian. As Tate works his way inside, and the Bobcats do have. You know, I think this is one of those games. Not only will it, you know, give the Bobcats another W, but it's giving Coach TJ get some guys some quality, and we get we get closer and closer to Sun Belt play at the end of the month. Bobcats up to 67 points in this half as win. And here's their going against Our Lady of the Lake, also out of the Red River Athletic Conference. Now 69 points. Game has got 19 points, an efficient night too on. 11 shots. You know, Wynn didn't play early on of the year as from Bryant. But maybe earning some more playing time with his effort tonight. Nice right-handed finish. But what a second half, Suzanne. 71 points for the Bobcats since halftime. Unbelievable. Again, they came out of half, and it was. Now with this win, Texas State out to a 2-0 start at home this season. And they're home again a week from Gats with the win, 107-58 over Jarvis Christian. Post-game coverage coming up. And welcome back to Strand Arena, Texas State, with a win over Jarvis Christian, 107-58 to improve to 4